There have been so many morphers over the course of Power Rangers. Each morpher has a unique um, design and color to them and certain functions to the morphers. But since there have been so many morphers over the course of 27 going to be on 28 years of Power Rangers, I have to choose at least 10 morphers and I will count some morphers for six rangers if I need so. Battleizer sort of morpher, Battleizer morphers are dis disqualified in this video. I'll save them for another video if I got time for those. But for now, we're only tackling only more my my personal ten favorite Power Rangers morphers for Core Rangers and Six Rangers in this video. Number ten is the recent Beast X morpher from Power Rangers, Beast Morphers. And what made this morpher so unique for me was it's somewhat similar to a particular Ranger morpher that had this sort of you know futuristic uh, design to futuristic uh, design to it, and it's very tech and has the uh, orange visor piece uh, on the wrist mount part of the morpher, and also. It's one of the many morphers like the tur like the Turbo, Dino Thunder, and such morphers before it, where the morpher in includes a key to, to insert in order to activate the morpher and do the activate beast power mode in order for the rangers to transform into those leather suits that the beast morpher rangers are known for. I actually like the beast morpher, the beast X morpher, because it has this futuristic, you know, mil milit militant tech based design for it because this was one of the many things I did like from Beast Morphers and I hope that this is a morpher that um, makes it on the list because when I was thinking about this morpher it had this thing going for it. Number nine is the Dino Morphers from Power Rangers Dino Thunder, but particularly while they're while the other Rangers' Dino Morphers are great, but specifically, I actually like the Dino Morphers, you know, because they got the you know the heads of their respective Dino Zords on them, as opposed to the the original Rangers um, Power Morphers where they got the power coins displaying their respective Dino Zord coin later Ninja Zord coin. But with the Dino Thunder Rangers, they have the head, you know, these head pieces to the uh, you know, morphers that indicate what dinosaur they have, like red having the Tyranno, uh, yellow having the pterodactyl and the black ranger with the brachio. But my personal favorite of all the Dino Thunder morphers, Tommy's morpher was my favorite of the five because Tommy's morpher is such a special case. It's very reminiscent to when he used to have the Turbo Morpher when he was the Red Turbo Ranger for the first 19 episodes of Turbo, that this was another wrist-mounted Morpher for Tommy where he has to use the key to activate it and turn into the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. And, well, again, the other Rangers' Dino Morphers are fine, but I actually like Tommy's Morpher the best out of all of the bunch because... It was just very reminiscent because you know how I am a sucker for gold and with a mixture of some other color, mainly black and gold. Next up at number eight are the Ninja Storm Morphers because I've really liked the Ninja Storm Morphers for their unique design, black and gold later on with Dino Thunder with Tommy's Morpher like I mentioned earlier. I always liked the Ninja Storm Morphers because they were very, remin they were very different from what we were getting uh, from like in terms of Dino versus Ninja Powers and MMPR, because while the while the Alien Rangers didn't had a morpher, they just did it like this and turn into their Aquatar Ranger forms. But the Ninja Storm Rangers have Ninja, you know, Ninja Ranger based morphers where they have uh, the power discs, you know, displayed on the morpher piece, and then once they do that, then they do the Ninja Storm Ranger form and and you know do that morph pose. And I actually liked the the the, dual, the buttons being red on the morphers, which uh, for the like the core group. While the Thunder Rangers, their morphers were very reminiscent. When I think about the Thunder Rangers morphers, since they were insect themed, they were actually very reminiscent to the Beetle Bonder Data Bonders from Beetleborgs and Beetleborgs Metallics, but for the Crimson and Navy Thunder Rangers. And like how I joked about the Green Samurai Star, uh, the Green Samurai Ranger having the Samurai Star Amulet is kind of like a Pokeball before Power Ranger. You know, a green Samurai Pokeball, you know, green Samurai themed Pokeball, uh, but for Cam as the Green Ranger. 
I mean, the Ninja Storm Morphers are unique in their own right, but I actually like the, the, the Wind Morpher a lot more because they display their respective, uh, you know, power disc of their respective range, you know, Wind Ranger element. And also, it's just that it's just that you, that design really strikes me with the uh, the ninja the ninja storm wind morpher. I mean, the thunder, like I said, the thunder morpher and the samurai star morpher is fine, but I actually like the wind morpher a lot more of the three. Number seven is the morphers from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, the Trans Morpher and Magda Defenders Morpher. You know, as a fan of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, I always loved the Trans Morpher because it was a black and silver morpher with the gold turning dial and also having the, the, the color dials on the morpher being displayed that we we haven't seen much on other Ranger morphers, but in on the back of the Mighty Morphin morphers, well, like, like on the Legacy uh, one, they uh, would show color dials on, on the back of the morpher. Uh, showing the colors of the Rangers, but what I liked it about Lost Galaxy's Transmorpher, they display the the colors of the Rangers by order: red, blue, green, yellow, and pink. And then you there's this little small arrow on the gold, the gold ring dial to the Morpher. You know when you turn it to a certain you know turn it to whatever color Ranger you get. And what I liked it about the Lost Galaxy uh, Transmorpher when I used to have the toy version of it, when you turn the dial to a certain colored, uh, color coded ranger, you get a certain sound effect of their respective Galacta Beasts, like the Red Ranger having a lion and Pink Ranger with a wildcat, for example. And of course, I always like it when they always do go galactic with the morpher. Magda Defenders Morpher is obviously the aura changer from Die Ranger because, well, Magda Defender and Ginga Man had the sword in the Sentai footage for him, the Transform. But in the Power Rangers adaptation, when Mike became the Magda Defender, and when Mag when the original died, and when the uh, original Magda Defender gave uh, his powers on to Mike following his resurrection, Mike became the Magda Defender, and he was given the new Morpher. I didn't notice this back when I was watching Lost, Lost Galaxy uh, when I was a kid that Magda Defender's Morpher was, of course, the or a changer from Die Ranger, um, but this was long before I even knew what Sentai was or Die Ranger itself. So, but the Magda Defender Morpher I also had also as a kid um, because it's a two-piece Morpher just like the Zeonizer, uh, but for Six Ranger, and you know it was a unique Morpher. At least they actually managed to adapt a Morpher that was unused during MMPR when they were adapting some stuff from Die Ranger. Number six is the, well, for some six Ranger Morphers, this one is a personal favorite. Of all the Morphers from Lightspeed Rescue, I actually like that the Titanium Rangers Morpher, because the Titanium Rangers Morpher, you know, there was just something appealing about that Morpher. Nothing wrong with the Morpher for the core group with Carter and Dana and Ch Joel and Chad and them, but Ryan's Titanium Morpher is silver and blue, but with the blue X and Y ray graphics all over that morpher. And also when you press the uh, the Lightspeed Rescue Insignia button to activate the morpher for him, the morpher would open up and then you would, you know, of course do the titanium power, uh, you know, call and then Ryan is the titanium ranger. His morpher is just so unique because his morpher is not based on, and again, the titanium ranger was not adapted from any Super Sentai uh, counter, you know, from any uh, source of Super Sentai. Uh, because the Titanium Ranger was our first ever American-made Power Ranger, so the Morpher has to be American-made. But the Titanium Ranger, but the Titanium Ranger's Solar Zord was from Gogo Five, but the Morpher uh, is made exclusive for us, so it didn't appear in Gogo Five, and I don't think anyone in Gogo Five was wearing that Morpher. So Titanium Ranger takes the cake with this. I mean, the Core Group's Morpher is fine, but Titanium Morpher was better. Okay, so we're going on to our number five. My fifth favorite Power Rangers Morpher is the Dino Charge Morpher because the Dino Charge Morpher is both a blaster and a gun. But that's one of the things I liked about it. A, a Morpher and a gun at the same time working together because 
I wish we had more Morphers and Power Rangers that were just like the Dino Charge Rangers where the, the Morpher can be both a Morpher, a traditional Morpher, and any kind of given weapon combined because they would do this later on. In, they did this also in Ninja Steel during the Neo Saban where, of course, they had to adapt uh, the Ninja you know, the Ninja Morphers different where the Ninja, the Ninja had the Morphers being both the sword and the Morpher, but they gave them the Ninja spin, those Ninja uh, power, those Ninja star things that are blades, blade guns that can also be a morpher. But Dino Charge did it first because they actually had the Dino Charge, you know, inserting Dino Charger and then you got to spin that uh, barrel, that little small barrel that lights up. And then when you do the, you know, insert certain charger engage and then you, you know, turn into a uh, a Dino Charge Ranger by saying, you know, unleash the power and, and stuff like that. And that's why I liked it about the Dino Charge Morpher. Because all of the Dino Charge Morphers, well, except for the, the Silver Ranger, Silver Ranger had a blue version of their Morphers, while all of the other Dino Charge Rangers besides Silver Ranger has a traditional yellow and black Morpher. And the color balance on it is, is unique as well because yellow and black for this T-Rex faced Morpher gun works for the team. Number four, okay, so number four is, well, as I mentioned, you know, I've been wanting to put this one on the list. Number four is the Zeonizer from Power Rangers Zeo. Because I wanted to mention the Zeonizer, I, I, I really was fickle about choosing certain morphers. Because not every morpher from each season is going to be my favorite. Because there has been so many that, uh, I, that I've seen, but not every single one of them was going to be my personal favorite. So, you look at the... Okay, so when you look at the Xeonizer and its, you know, uniqueness, because the Xeonizer was our first two-piece morpher, you know, the Turbo Morpher being the second, because the Turbo Morpher is just the wrist morpher and then the key to turn them when they do all that shifting in the turbo, moving their arms and stuff around. The Xeonizer, when the Rangers would, you know, have the Xeonizers and after, you know, again, Mighty Morph into Zeo, with that kind of transition from the Power Morphers to the Xeonizers, a two-piece morpher, you know, when you have the Xeonizer, the Xeonizer, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, what I loved about the Xeonizer is its majestic, technical, magical, at the same time, vibe and design to it. And, you know, I like it when they always do this, when they do the Morpher, and also I wish I had the uh, Legacy Xeonizer by now to demonstrate that, because whenever they do all of this and then do this, that's when I know that, okay, it's time to do Zeo Ranger or something, something, do this, and then, costume pops up in there a Zeo Ranger and the Gold Rangers Xeonizer is just a complete gold repaint of what the opposite repaint of what the core team has while the core group of the Zeo Rangers have the gold over the you know you know silver over the gold or gold over the silk no the Gold Ranger had a gold over the silver while the, the the core group has silver over the gold parts of it and also it comes with a particular zeo crystal uh gem to it to insert onto the morpher and also i actually like that i always love the zeo morphers zeonizers as it's called and i wish that i i wish i had that morpher uh to this day especially the legacy version Okay, so at number three, because I'm really fi f finicky about this one. So at number three is the Gosei Morpher from Power Rangers Megaforce. I know for some reason I've been throwing Megaforce in some of these videos in terms of what I do like. Because again, Megaforce may be a terrible season, but the Morphers are actually interesting. Because the Gosei Morpher is just basically a tiki head Morpher where you insert cards and become a Power Ranger, boom, and then of course you get you know, power cards to uh, summon Zords and power ups and all that other stuff. And I always liked the Gosei Morpher um, because, you know, like I've said about my theory for Megaforce, instead of Gosei being a mounted uh, mounted wall mentor that, well, wasn't really a mentor because, you know, as much as Gosei didn't work well as a character, personally, meant Gosei should have acted more like a AI artificial intelligence uh to the morphers, you know, to the Gose morphers for the Rangers, and then Gose can talk through the, you know, the morpher to interact with the Rangers instead of having him being mounted on the wall in that command cave in Megaforce. 
But though I wish that he was uh, just the morpher, but also an AI artificial intelligence in you know built it built an artificial AI inside the morpher. But then also having him, you know, grant the Rangers while outside all around the city dealing with Warstar and Armada forces to, uh, you know, give them the cards and stuff and do what's uh, necessary. Okay, I know people are going to get on me about this, but as iconic as the original Power Morpher is, the original Morphers are at number two because I have a Morpher that I have been planning to put at number one for some time. Now, the original Power Morphers will be on everyone's number one list, but it's a number two for me. Because while it's the original and the iconic and the classic Morphers, I do like the Power Coin sets for the original uh, Morphers from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers throughout the course of the three seasons. They had the Dinosaur, they had the Dinosaur coins for the first two seasons, with Tommy having his Tiger Zord coin during season two when he became the White Ranger. By the third season, when the original Morphers and Power Coins were destroyed following the destruction of the Thunder Zords and the original Powers, when they when the Rangers went on their quest to find Ninjorf, you know, in his temple to get the swift and cunningness and power of the Ninja, they were granted the, the Ninja Coins, and were uh, also granted the ability to turn into the Ninja Rangers and so forth. Well, the power the Power Morphers are iconic though, but they didn't really have much to fare or offer. Uh, but I just like the uniqueness of the Morpher being just this Morpher that you have in your grip and then you do this It's Morphin time and and do all that because it's an iconic, you know thing But I really love the Morphers and, and it's you know the way how you know again They're just belt buckle accessories that you take off and then you do the morph and then you do You know do like this and then you do the like, you know Tyrannosaurus and Mastodon and all that but you know, again, and then, and then later on, after they, after when they had already lost their original powers, then when they get the ninja powers, and then when they summon, when they summon the, you know, you know, when they, you know, you know, utilize their new powers, you know, via the ninja, the ninja coins, they have to go by their colors. But um, again, I would prefer, you know, it's hard to prefer if I like the dino coins on the more for more or the Ninja Coins on the more for more because I actually like both, but it's hard to choose because while, yes, the original Power Coin set is iconic and classic, I like the Ninja Coins because it gave them a different spiritual change into their set of powers as the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But it's really common and, you know, again, it's a very classic regal looking morpher because um, it's everyone's favorite morpher. And plus you have so many different uh, variations of it. You got um, the core group having a silver colored morpher, while Tommy's morpher is gold to make it similar, you know, keep his distant, you know, distinct from the others. Because, you know, for the, our sixth ranger, he gets a gold colored version of the, of the original morpher, while the core group still retains the silver ones to make it more ornate and different. Okay, for some honorable mentions, I do have at least two honorable mentions. I need to get straight to number one. For my honorable mention, uh, my first honorable mention is the Chronomorpher from Power Rangers Time Force. And the Chronomorpher is just basically what I can say about this morpher. It's just a futuristic wristband morpher with, you know, which has this futuristic for its time uh, aesthetic to it. And when they do the Time Four, Time Force, and I still got the morpher somewhere in my uh, storage box, somewhere of old Power Ranger stuff. And, you know, I wish there was more to say about the Chronomorphers, but there isn't really much to say, but it's a cool looking morpher. Uh, Orion's super mega super mega morpher from super mega force whatever it's called or just the silver morpher whatever you like to call it i like orion's uh super mega morpher uh when he becomes the silver super mega force ranger because it's very different from the other rangers um legendary morpher and you know inserting just the silver ranger key into the morpher and then doing super mega mode and then press the dial and then of course his morpher displays all of the six ranger uh faces on them like mighty morphin green spd omega you know robo knight and quantum ranger and all of those six rangers uh designated onto the morpher buttons and actually it was pretty impressive my third honorable mention of a ranger morpher that i actually like 
I, I mean, I wanted to put the SPD Morpher during a regular part of this list, but the SPD Morphers are another honorable mention for me because when they do that SPD emergency, but again, you know, what I loved about the SPD Morphers for years is that, you know, it, it's like a badge and somewhat a walkie talkie sort of morpher because they're Space Patrol Delta. But I thought of the Morphers like cell phones, but they're more like uh, like a cell phone, a wallet, and a badge as acting as three different things at once. And um, I also love the judgment mode function when the Rangers, when they defeat um, the, the monsters, they would always use the judgment mode to indicate if the monster is guilty or not, which is another thing I liked about the SPD Morphers. And also, Doggy Kruger's Morpher, and I believe Cat's Cat Minx is more for as the Cat Ranger. They're both black and gold, while the core group is black and white's more for. SPD, Ome SPD Omega has a different morpher, but it's it's just a turnable wrist-bound morpher, but we never do see Sam outside of the suit though. Well, you guys figure my number one all-time favorite Power Rangers morpher. Well, this one, now I know some people are going to be upset that I put the original Power Morphers from Mighty Morphin at number two, but my real number one favorite Power Rangers Morpher is the legendary Morpher from Power Rangers Super Mega Force once again. Because, well, the reason why I chose the legendary Morpher at number one, because while all the other Morphers of each of the seasons pre Mega Force are fine, but what I loved about the Legendary Morpher for years, what I loved about the Legendary Morpher for years is that when you take this Morpher and, and a, a Ranger key, you turn, the, you turn the key knob and then you turn into Super Mega Force, but then also when you have keys of existing Rangers, you can also, you know, the keys, you know, other Ranger keys, you can turn into past Power Rangers. That's why I put this at number one, because what I loved about this Morpher, it has all of the power of all of the past Power Ranger teams you can have imaginable. You can turn to any Ranger team. Team, Mighty Morphin, Zeo, Turbo, In Space, Lost Galaxy, Lacebee Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force, all of those Ranger teams that you can imagine all the way up until Super Mega Force. But if, the, if, the, if they were to still continue doing the Ranger Key gimmick, um, if the Rangers, if the Mega Force Rangers didn't lose their Super Mega modes, they could have, with you know Dino Charge, Ninja Steel, Beast Morphers, and now Dino Fury existing, if they were to come back, like let's say for the 30th anniversary, or if they were to adapt Zuo for the 30th anniversary Power Rangers because if you watched the two Zoo Oger, uh anniversary episode crossover crossovers they the Go Kaijers had had up to date with the Ranger keys of Ranger teams that came after them like Go Buster and Kyrioger and Ninja and Tokuger and up to Zoo Oger, and they could do all of that if the Go Kaijers also came back in time for the Super Sentai's 45th anniversary next year they would also have the Ranger keys of the Q well some of the Q Rangers because Go Kaiger is only a six a six man team but also Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger and Rue Soldier and I mean imagine that I mean the possibilities are endless so with the legendary Morpher this is why this is my number one because I always love this Morpher because while it's well as much as I'm not much of a fan of cell phone Morphers but I do like this Morpher because of its very regal pirate themed aesthetic behind it because you know you got just everything in this package with the ranger keys of the super mega team plus keys of existing rangers but when they did the when they did the ranger when they have the ranger keys um for the ranger teams we ha already know but in the tv series they would have in the tv series they have keys of ranger teams considered never before seen on earth those again those new powers personally i would have liked it if they just only did the die ranger keys uh if, if someone would like to make customs of those or or just buy the original go kaiger version of this and the die ranger keys set and there you go or just buy all of the sentai versions of all of the existing power ranger uh, teams uh, keys and then there you go you got your own version of Super Mega Force while well, the American version only focuses on teams that only exist here in our show Sentai focused on teams that exist even beyond Go Kaiger and then again that's why I always love this gimmick so these are my top 10 Power Ranger Morphers I know not every Morpher was gonna be on my list like the Overdrive Tracker or the Mystic Force Morpher or you know RPMs Morphers or the Samurizer or the Growl Phone but 
it's just not every morpher was going to make it. It's just certain ones because from like the Lost Galaxy Transmorpher, the Legendary Morpher, the original Morpher, uh, the Xeonizer, I mean those morphers I have aforementioned and of course some of the following honorable mentions. What do you guys think of this list? I'm in my next top list video. I'm going to tackle my top 10 Power Ranger villains I would like to see in the Lightning Collection line. See you guys next time, and I hope you subscribe, drop a like, and see you guys when I do that video. Thanks for watching.